Hey guys, it's Raven again, and today we are going to be hanging wallpaper for the very first time. So, wish me luck. I have all the supplies that I listed in the previous slide here on the table with me, and I started by measuring the wall with an extra two inches on either side of the wallpaper. I'm just using a paint stir stick for a straight line and a pencil, and your typical pair of house scissors to cut my straight line. Since I'm going to have excess on both sides that later I will trim off with a razor blade, it really isn't that important for my scissor line to be perfect. Next step, of course, is a drink of the beer and then spray bottle. Maybe before you start your project, unlike me, you should make sure your spray bottle works. Unfortunately, the spray bottle outsmarted me for a few minutes, and it takes me a second here to get everything adjusted. And one more time, can she figure it out? And she does. There we go. So now I'm just spraying water all the way down my wallpaper. This is the first sheet that I've ever done. So unfortunately, I go a little light-handed on the water, and I just tried to smooth the water out evenly over the paper. Now that I've wallpapered an entire wall, I know much better than this. Guys, you really want to soak your paper with that water. The more water that's on the paper, especially around your edges, the better it's going to activate that glue and the easier it's going to stick to your wall. So make sure you're really getting the edges of your paper wet. The sponge here really is not necessary. Again, this was the first time that I did this, so I was trying a few different techniques. As long as you have a spray bottle that is spraying all over the paper and not really in like a direct line, the sponge, again, is not necessary. If you have a spray bottle like me, who's just not really working the best and it's kind of shooting water out in a direct line instead of covering the paper evenly, I use the sponge as well as my wallpaper smoother during this process to just to make sure the water was evenly spaced out through everything. Now we're going to wait two to three minutes for our glue to activate.
right guys now I'm moving to my next piece I found it easier to work in sections of two meaning that I have lined up the pattern and measured and cut according to my pattern for the next two pieces this way my glue has time to sit and activate while I'm working on the piece in front of it the pattern that I chose for my wallpaper was very difficult. I would not necessarily recommend choosing a wallpaper for your first time that has a lot of pattern on it, only because it was very difficult to match up on the wall um, or even on the table. I also had a lot of waste because I had to throw away about four inches every time to match the same pattern again. I'm doing the same technique that I did earlier, spraying my paper, folding it onto each other, Pushing it down nice so it activates. And then I'm just folding it again and letting it sit. matches 
the next cut that you make, the next piece of paper. That way when you flip it over and you put your glue on the back, you don't get yourself lost. So I'm going to take this piece, which is already cut to match the wall, slide it over, take my roll, and now just play around with it until I can get the two to match up. is going to be right here. So on this side, when this paper goes up, it's going to be the wall. And on the other side, it's going to be paper. And you won't see where I wrote those lines because that is the excess portion that will be cut off. paper is dry for two to three minutes. We will go ahead and roll out our next piece. 